Hi guys, today we are going to talk about an interesting subject, pleasure. Now in the modern world, everybody craves to satisfy their pleasure. It could be something very little or it could be something big, but they all want to just satisfy it. And if those are not satisfied, they might develop fear, anger, sometimes even lack of wanting to do anything in life if their pleasures are not met. And that is why there is a small analogy mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita that says just like how a flower that is blossomed and as beautiful as this one, we sometimes we feel happy, right? This looks like a beautiful flower or at least in my house this is the only flower that is blossomed now. So this looks like a beautiful flower, right? And we feel so happy when it is like this, blossomed, fully neat, fully grown. But we feel sad when the flower is like this. Right? Faded, you know, there is nothing left, it is dead and we have lost everything and this feels bad. Now, here it is blossomed, here it is faded. Now, you know for what has blossomed, it is definitely going to fade. That is the same thing in how we do in life as well. Now, I would have mentioned one thing at the start of the second chapter where I would have said wise men grieve neither for the dead nor for the living. That is right there with that flower. Because for what is born, death is certain. And for what is dead, birth is certain. Maybe the same flower is not going to grow in the plant. But eventually there is always going to be another flower and another flower and another flower. And just like how every flower blossoms, every flower is going to fade. That is why they say that a great sage or a person who is filled with wisdom does not get perplexed either when a flower is blossomed or when a flower is faded. That is the same thing for pleasure and pain. When something has utmost pleasure, it is bound to bring utmost pain. And now it is for us or rather up to us to decide on which plane we have to be. So if we are able to manage that pleasure and pain, that is we are able to have a stable mind and we are not thinking at the ultimate result of wanting to succeed at the end or sometimes the fear of maybe failing at the end, then we would manage to build something which is even minded throughout a process. And that is why they say throughout the Bhagavad Gita that process is the most important thing because when you believe in that process of not wanting to think too far ahead, you have something that is higher than what any other individual could have. You have conquered fear. You have conquered anxiety. And most importantly, you have conquered pleasure and pain equally. Now the question that we have to ask is, why does pleasure arise? Why do we feel sad when pain arises? And for that, the simple answer is our sense objects. You know what the sense objects are because I've told that in timeless videos before, which you can see right here. Now, when we talk about these sense objects, these sense objects are used to one particular emotion from us. It could be mostly pleasure in a lot of people's cases. And this sense objects must be brought under our control. And that is what the mind is failing to do and which is something that you are giving the place to the mind to enjoy the senses. Now it is a step by step process. There is an interesting analogy for this through a small mammal known as the tortoise. Now the turtle is something that is has a very different sort of creativity in how it controls all its limbs. It does not throw it away, but it refrains from using it at a certain time. When it is afraid or when it is wanting to go into its shell, it just refrains all its limbs. It controls its sense organs and it goes into its shell. That is the same thing that the Bhagavad Gita is asking us to do through control of our senses. Now, no human being can survive without our sense organs. We need our eyes, nose, ears, mouth and everything. But we need to control them. Now you see, it is equal mindedness. It is stability. If we are having that, then we have the mind to be in our control. And something that I said at the start, not be bothered when it fades, 
neither be bothered when it blossoms so you're not happy when pleasure is present neither are you sad when pain is present because you have able to deal both with an equal mindedness and that is all that this verse from the bhagavad gita is trying to make you think now the first step in order to be even minded is just to free your mind and it will always lead the way and that's a wrap for this particular episode and as always thank you for watching and until the next episode it is goodbye